Hey friends, we're going to jump in where we left off the last time. So we looked at a few slides from the Nutcracker, so you got an overview. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at a five minute video about the Nutcracker. And then after that, we're going to stop when they talk about the March of the Toy Soldiers. And then we're gonna see a little bit of the ballet from March of the Toy Soldiers. And then we're going to <clears throat> hear that song played on a piano and then we're going to show you how we can make that song on Chrome Lab or Chrome Music Lab. Very, very cool site. So I included that link. So you got three options when you get to that Chrome Music Lab. You can just watch it, watch me put it together, or you can watch it and you can put it together as a class. Or if you have your own Chromebooks, you can watch it and make it on your own. Okay, so three options when we get to the Chrome Lab, Chrome Music Lab part. You can just watch it, watch me put it together, or as a class you can put it together, or you can put it together on your own if you have your own Chromebook. Sound good? All right, here we go. Nutcracker begins, um, and the, when the curtain goes up, Marie is there, a little girl with her brother, and they're sleeping outside the hallway, um, waiting for the, the uh, big room to be revealed with the big, great big Christmas tree and the Christmas Eve party to begin. They're picking inside the hole, right? And then they're looking to see what the parents are doing. And then all of a sudden, everything opens up, right? The screens go up and they're getting ready. And the people in the house are bringing gifts. And then each guest comes in. And in that evening, who joins them is Herr Drossemeyer, which is Marie and uh, Godfather. And Sorry. he is a magician. He's known to be a magician and a toy maker. He brings to the party with three special uh, dolls. Dolls, yes. Dolls. Who comes to life. Life-size dolls. So they're like huge human-sized dolls inside and they all dance for the guests. Drossemeyer brings out the Nutcracker and he shows it to everyone. He shows how it works. And then he asks Marie to come up and, sh and try it out. And she, and then he gives it to her. And Fritz is a little bit jealous. So what does Fritz do? Fritz breaks the Nutcracker. They do a little bit of a tag of war. They tie, they tie him. Boom! It falls into the ground. It's a big moment because everybody thinks he's broken. Jasper is very upset, but he puts a handkerchief around his arm so he feels, so she feels a little bit better. And they play with him. And she cradles them in the, in her arms and does a little lullaby with her friends. And that's time for the night to be over, so everyone goes home and the Staubbaum family goes to sleep. But Marie, she doesn't want to sleep. She's curious. She's curious about her nutcracker. So she goes down by the tree and she falls asleep out by the couch. She's sleeping with the nutcracker. There's a uh, Drossemeyer comes again. And he wakes up Marie and everything feels like a dream. And he starts making magic and big mice start coming out from everywhere and she's very scared, she hides, and then the tree starts to grow, everything starts to grow. A whole battle scene begins with all the soldiers that were in a little cabinet at the beginning of the scene have, gone, have grown bigger, and then the mouse king and the nutcracker fight, and the nutcracker ends up winning. <laughs> The, the nutcracker but wins because... Marie throws her shoe, and then she faints because she's so scared that the mouse king's gonna hurt her. The prince nutcracker, he actually has a transformation because he kills the mouse king and he becomes a beautiful prince, which Marie probably really likes him. Something that I love about that scene is like then starts snowing a lot, and then comes the forest scene that is the snowflakes dancing, right? Yes. You know, they are walking in the snow kingdom and all the snowflakes dance around them and with the like backdrop, it was beautiful. Just like, it's a beautiful moment. It's like yeah, frozen moment. The snow for a falls from the, from the sky. Yeah. 
Snowflake, and then after that, they carry on to the Sweet Kingdom. There's a whole bunch of different sweets in the land of sweets that dance for them. So there's hot chocolate, coffee, tea, um, can candy cane, I think, mm -hmm. and then Marzipan. Paula Chanel. Oh no, Ma Marzipan. Uh, Marzipan, Paula Chanel, and then the flowers dewdrop. and dewdrop. The sugar plum fairy asks, um, why are they here? And the prince does a pantomime telling um, what how all this happened. You see angels, they meet the sugar plum fairy, and she tells them to go on the cupcake throne. And they make a beautiful, they dance for Marie and the Nutcracker. Mm -hmm. And in the very end, they all get together to say goodbye to Marie and the Nutcracker. And they go back home in a snowy night. <laughs> <laughs> That's the it. The end. That's the story. Okay, friends, so right now we're going to start looking at the story a little bit more in depth, right? So we got an overview of the story of what's going on. Um, there was a girl and there was a party and there were some toys that were enchanted and there was a, um, a nutcracker and a ballerina and a rat king and then the girl fell asleep and there was a battle and then there was an enchanted land and all this stuff, right? So now we're gonna get into the story a little bit more now that we have the overview. But what we're gonna do is every once in a while we're gonna stop and look at some things, okay? So we're just gonna kinda do a little bit of story, stop, show you some things, do a little bit of story, stop, show you some things, just like that. Does that sound good? All right, here is the beginning of the nut cracker sweet. Welcome to Classical Kids Storytime from American Public Media. I'm Steve with our version of the Nutcracker. One December night, a very long time ago, a little girl named Clara was celebrating Christmas Eve in a big way. She and her brother, their parents, and all her cousins and aunts and uncles, plus the neighbors and their kids, were all there, dressed up in their Christmas best. The house was all dressed up too. It was decorated with wreaths and stockings, mistletoe, and boughs of holly. Right at the center was an enormous Christmas tree drooping under the weight of ornaments and shiny garlands. Velvet bows and silver bells, tiny gingerbread men and candy canes, and hundreds of twinkling lights. Under the tree, piles of presents most were tantalizing mysteries wrapped in their Christmas paper, but some were unwrapped and on display, like the stuff grown-ups gave each other. And the army of brightly painted soldiers in their red coats with gold buttons and shiny black boots. Clara and her brother Fritz and the cousins played under the tree, creating a military parade with their toy soldiers. That is a good spot to start because, did you hear that song? It went da 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 Does that sound familiar? It's called the March of the Toy Soldiers. Okay, and you may have heard it in, in different cartoons and things like that. But what I'm going to show you now is uh, March of the Toy Soldiers from the ballet of the Nutcracker Suite. And then uh, we're going to show you March of the Toy Soldiers, someone playing it on a piano. Then we're going to make our own version of March of the Toy Soldiers on Chrome Lab Songmaker. So first up, March of the Toy Soldiers in the ballet. Second up, someone playing March of the Toy Soldiers on a piano, and you'll see the notes being hit. And then third, we're going to create that song on
Chrome Lab song maker. So this is March of the Toy Soldiers. We're going to take March of the Toy Soldiers and make this on SongMaker. Okay? So the first thing we have to do is we have to open up Chrome Lab SongMaker. And I included this link on our um, Google stream. Chrome Lab SongMaker. Boom. Okay, now we have to set up the settings on there. So I'm leaving it at 120. I left it at Maramba and Electronic. You can change that. And over here, we want 442 major middle C2. So I'm making this one 4. And this one's 4. And this is 2. 442. Four, and over here, major middle C2 octaves. So it's going to go 442 four, major middle C2. 442 major middle C2. And then we should have this. So the first thing I'm going to do is start here. That's our first note. The bump. So I'll try to get that microphone a little bit closer. Hopefully that's not too annoying for you. Okay. So it should go bump, 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 
Bum, bum. And then here. Bum. 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 Sounds like this so far. Now this one, we're not going to play anything here. And we're going to repeat that. Bum. 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 That's the melody. That's it. So it goes like this. Bum. 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 Now, if yours doesn't look like this, it might be smaller. It might look like this. That's fine. I'll get rid of all this so you'll see what it will look like if it's smaller. And I'll get rid of these. So if your music song maker is smaller, it still sounds the same, looks like this. And if it's bigger, like mine was set up, it still looks the same, or it still sounds the same. Okay, so now we're going to set up our chords. So we're going to make this chord here. And under this orange one, we're going to make this chord. And under this yellow one, we're going back to the first chord. And under the orange one, we're going to this chord. Now we're going to the first chord. Bum, 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 bum. This chord. This chord. This chord. That's it. So we have the melody on the top. We have the chords on the bottom. Sounds like this. Now, if yours is wide like mine, I'll show you how I filled these in. First chord. Second chord. Go over to back to here. First chord. Bum, ba, ba, bum, 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 bum. Second chord. First chord. Bum, bum, bum. Second chord. Bum, bum. First chord. Bum, bum, bum. If it's big like mine, it sounds like this. All right, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some drums. I'm going to go boom, tap, boom, tap, boom. Yeah, I'm going to go like that. Play around, see what you like. And then I'm going to go boom, tap, boom, tap, boom, tap, boom, tap, tap. So mine sounds like this. All right, if you have this one, same thing. Boom, tap, boom, tap. Wait, I gotta start at the beginning, right? Okay, so mine's gonna go boom, tap, boom, tap, boom, tap, boom, tap, tap, boom, tap, boom, tap, boom, tap, boom, tap, tap. Looks different. 
sounds the same. I like the smaller one better because I can see the whole song at the same time. But that's March of the uh, Toy Soldiers on SongMaker. And again, if you want to um, share this with me, go to Save, copy the link, and then go to our page and paste it right on our Google stream. Sound good? So I'll do that again. All you have to do if you want to share it with me so I can talk about it, go to Save, copy the link, and then put it on our site. Sound good? All right. Hope you like that, and I hope you try it, okay? Because I think you got about 10 minutes right now. So I would open it up, work on it together as a class, and see if you can figure that out. But if you do have your own Chromebooks, you can try it on your own, okay? And you can get on the Google Stream if you have your own Chromebook, and then the link is on there too, okay? And the video's on there, so you can just kind of match it up and, and play. So I would probably stop and just play around and, and see what you can do together on Chrome Music Lab. Now, if you're not going to do that, I have another version of the Nutcracker in under five minutes that you can do now. Okay? So... I'm going to give you the option to do what you're going to do, and then we'll go from there, okay? All right, friends. Smell you later. The Story of the Nutcracker by Sunrise Ballet. Drosselmeyer has something for Clara and shares it with the maid. He will give her an enchanted nutcracker toy that will come to life in her dreams. The tree will grow, grow tall, but this must all be a secret. The guests arrive to Clara's home on Christmas Eve. Everyone is having a merry time. Where could Herr Drosselmeyer be? The children ask. He always brings the most wonderful gifts and surprises. Drosselmeyer makes his entrance. Boys will be boys. They become so impatient. He knows just what to do to keep everyone entertained. Life-size dancing dolls that need winding up. All are surprised and most curious at what these automatons can do. They dance around to everyone's delight. But it's soon time for the next surprise. Drosselmeyer has a special gift for Clara and another for her brother Fritz. He presents Clara with a wooden nutcracker. and a stuffed mouse for Fritz, though he was expecting more. Clara is happy and proud, showing her nutcracker for all to see. He eyes her toy, and he would like it for himself. He asks politely to see it, and she responds with a playful tease. And angry he becomes so grabbing and pulling ensues until her beloved Nutcracker toy is broken. Drosselmeyer knows just what to do to keep Clara happy and the surprise alive too. He fixes it quickly and without hesitation, returns it to Clara, who is most happy once more. The party now over, it's late at night. Clara finds her nutcracker once more filled with joy. It's been such a long day, she falls fast asleep. Before long, curious mice come out 
to have adventures and play. The whole mouse family arrives. Then so come toy soldiers. And quickly, as you know it, so arrives the mouse queen. She is evil, so evil, and frightens poor Clara. She runs to the soldiers, hoping that they will protect her. The mouse queen makes evil plans, but her nutcracker has come to life. The soldiers and mice go into battle. The mouse queen and the nutcracker begin a sword fight. Clara throws the stuffed mouse, distracting the mouse queen for a moment. The battle over, her nutcracker now turns into a handsome prince. And with the help of angels, they journey to the land of the sweets. They work their way through the snow. Even the snowflakes have come to life. They arrive at the land of sweets. And the prince tells the story of the battle and how Clara helped defeat the mouse queen. The flowers dance a beautiful waltz in her honor. Sugar Plum Fairy and her cavalier also give thanks to Clara. Drosselmeyer is there to bring her back and keep her safe. She is at home once more. Was it all just a dream? And that's the end. Did you notice in this one, they said, the last one we looked at, they said, um, the Nutcracker battled the Mouse King. And in this one, they said that the Nutcracker battled the Mouse Queen, right? So that was one difference. The second one was, I saw, um, they said in this one that Clara threw a stuffed mouse at the Mouse Queen to distract her. And in the one from yesterday, it said Clara threw a slipper to distract the Mouse King or Queen. Did you notice any other differences between yesterday? If you did notice any other differences, let me know on Google Stream. Okay. Hey, let's say